Hey guys, it's Kuye. Welcome to my channel. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. So I took a little break away from YouTube because I wanted to just learn the fundamentals. Um, one thing you learn about me is that when I do something and I'm not 100%, I stop and I completely start over again. And if you're wondering why I just looked up, there's men doing construction right outside my window and they're like painting the building and all I see is this ladder just so wobbling and it scares me but obviously I need the natural light because it looks amazing and yeah so today I am here to do my 50 random facts about me just so my old subscribers can get to know something new about me my new subscribers can learn a lot about me here goes nothing and let me know what your favorite fact was or one thing that you didn't think that I liked or I was into. First one. I love God. You love God. What's wrong with you? I do everything while listening to music except do YouTube videos. But when I'm editing, cleaning, doing homework, showering, brushing my teeth, anything, driving, music. I read the whole Twilight series in high school. I cry during touching moments in movies. I am Kiki Palmer's sister in my head. I love her. Her and I are born two days apart and I literally think we're sisters and we're going to be best friends someday. <laughs> my favorite color is baby blue. To-do lists and planners are essential in my life. I've always had a planner and I've always made to-do lists. I think my dad taught me and got me into these things but I love it. I cannot live without planning. I make to-do lists all day every day and it's just exciting. The last book I read was The Runaway Bride by Heather Lindsay. For all my Christian sisters out there or non-believers also, it is an amazing book. If you want to start and kind of get into your journey, the first book I would say would be Pink Lips and Empty Hearts by Heather Lindsay also. You can get those at heatherlindsay.com or the Pinky Prom pinkypromisemovement.com. Check it out. You'll never regret it. It was the best thing I ever bought in my life. I can plan an event from start to finish in a day. That includes venues, time, post posters, all these things, where you post on social media, all these things I can do in a day for event, one event. I become obsessed with my projects. Just like I am with YouTube, I like spend all my time on YouTube when I'm not at work or I'm not doing something else. Or even just in between, like if I'm getting ready, I'll watch a YouTube video or I'll have it in the background just to hear it because I want to learn and so I do that. I can't stand being told that I can't do something. If I can't, if someone tells me I can't do something, I work my butt off to make sure I do that one thing. And this man is just getting closer. Before I started YouTube, I had no idea how to even do YouTube. I didn't you know camera settings. I didn't even know how to edit anything. I never edit anything in my life. But it was really interesting. I love it though. I'm so glad I'm a self taught person. I love to learn and I love to do things on my own and then teach others as well. I am the second oldest of six. Fall is my favorite season. I love sweatpants and hoodies so that's why fall is my favorite season. It's just so comfy and cozy and there's not a care in the world. My dad is my hero. I love him. Love you, daddy. I'm afraid of growing up. I just, I guess even looking back now that I've been out of high school for a few years, it just feels crazy to think, oh my gosh, I was in high school like five years ago. And it just scares me sometimes. 90s cartoons have my heart. Nothing is more important to me to, than my siblings. That's something I do not mess with. You mess with one of my siblings, you mess with me. I am five foot two, but when it comes to family, there is nothing that comes in between. Halloween Town movies are life. Like, if you're a 90s kid, you know what I'm talking about. Halloween Town 1, Halloween Town 2, and Halloween Town 3. Yes. I enjoy reading and being read to. Medea movies always make me cry. I love books. <laughs> the guy's just staring at me. I am absolutely in love with Tyrese Gibson. Anyone who knows me knows that Tyrese Gibson is Bay. He is my future husband, my soulmate. We're meant to be together. 
and he just doesn't know it yet. I mean, I know everything about him. His birthday's in December. He has a dog named Matrix and King. He has the cutest daughter. Amazing books, which I bought all of them. I'm not obsessed, but he's he's my husband. You know, you kind of have to learn before you meet Bay, and that's Bay. Crossword puzzles are so exciting. I love crossword puzzles. Actually, word searches. Yeah, word searches. Crossword puzzles are the other ones. Yeah, I love word searches. I used to have a book of six. It was 400, and I did all of them. I love crossword searches. So, if you want to send me one, let me know. Nail polish is a must. Can't live without it. As y'all can tell, I did my nails. I do my nails like twice a week. Before, they were like a greenish color. But now moving on to this if y'all could see it i did them yesterday my room is a mess my brain is a mess that's how i function if i'm in a good place my room is super clean but you can tell i'm in a good place because my room is clean but when i'm stressed out or there's just so much going on in my head my room's a mess like i and not like a nasty mess it's just clothes everywhere i don't want to put them away just because of my brain not everything is put in their own certain departments where they need to be so yeah I love colors um, I have an art box with crayons color pencils markers and I like to color I enjoy coloring on rainy days color pencils coloring books are bae also <laughs> um, I can't draw I can't even draw stick people stick people to me like when I draw them you'd just be ashamed you tell me to never draw in my life ever again like you wouldn't want to see me with any type of drawing I'm just horrible maybe I'll draw you guys one something something if you want me to draw you something let me know it's the worst you really don't want it Tamala man is life take me to the king I don't have much to bring my heart is torn in pieces it's my offering Y'all know. Y'all that. That's my, that's my jam. That's my girl. Went to your hell. Changed my life. Literally, I watched that show and I learned to appreciate every single person that's in my life. Every single person I speak to. I let them know how awesome they are. That they have purpose in their life. And those are all true things. And just watching Went to your hell, it just felt like I watched them grow from where I was, you know? Like, in high school. All of their whole lives where they're married and happily ever after. And some not so happy because... Life happens. People died. People moved away. Divorces. People just were lost in life. And all those things just made me appreciate each person. And one of my favorite quotes from that movie is, What you do matters. And it was Mouth who got a letter from Dan, who was Nathan Scott's dad. After he died, he sent, the, sent him a check. And it said, Because what you do matters. And I just think that's so amazing. Whatever it is you're doing, big or little, it matters and you do too. The Real is one of my favorite shows. I really love Tamira. I love all the girls but Tamira especially because she's just herself and that's enough and I think you learn from that. They all have different personalities and I love it. So yeah, The Real is one of my favorite shows. I'd rather watch 90s TV shows over anything because that's when it was cool. That's when it was fun. <clears throat> Nowadays these shows don't really make sense and I don't think it's because I've gotten older because I mean think about it. Boy Meets World had family essential life lessons, seventh heaven, same thing. Like you were learning as you were watching. Fresh Prince of Bel Air did deal with so many dynamics, whether it was race or status, power, um, abandonment, just family dynamics, all these things. Like I love 90s shows. And when my kids grow up, I'm going to teach them to watch these things because you learn real amazing core values from those shows. Nowadays, I just think it's rubbish. Sorry. That's just how I feel. Acting is something I'm working on and I love. I really love the art of acting. Just being somebody else. Channeling all your energy into a different person. Just like, it's really cool. Love it. Um, I can't focus if I'm not doing something on the side. Um, like I said, I make to-do lists all day, every day. Um, at one of my jobs, I we've been in like training and I literally can't focus on anything the teacher says unless I am writing or doodling or something and I do the same thing with um with school when I'm in class I have to be doing something on the side I cannot 
just sit there and listen to the teacher and I've had times where I've had to speak to the teacher and say hey I'm sorry but if you see me doodling or writing stuff down it's not that I'm not paying attention but this is how I pay attention does anybody like that I don't know let me know Christmas music is good any time of the year oh holy night the stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. See how I did that? I did some Mariah Carey in there. I think it's good to clap for yourself. Disney musicals, Lion King, Pocahontas, Frozen, all those things I love. I could listen to the whole Lion King soundtrack as I clean my room, as I do homework, as I do laundry, anything. Like I said, music is my life. Music is my life. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I feel I genuinely deep hardly think that I should have been on High School Musical because I know every, I can do the dance, I can do the singing. I am Gabriella. Um, I fall asleep watching movies 90% of the time. If you ever want to have a movie night with me or say let's go to the movies, yeah, I'm passing out 10 minutes into that movie. It's just dark settings, just knock me out I don't know it's really bad homework makes me smile um, might be weird I really enjoy homework it just challenges your brain and it just gets you thinking and it's awesome am I the only one who loves homework I don't know I said this twice fall is my absolute favorite season and I didn't notice that so I guess now you know twice I have a love-hate relationship with food some, some weeks I love to eat, some weeks I don't want to eat at all. Don't know why. I like to sing along to high school musical while I clean. I hate the feeling of my ha hair on my neck. I would rather wear wee a wig and take it off than have to deal with tracks or like braids down my neck as I sleep. It's so, oh, I don't know how people do it. I'm afraid of heights. It's like the scariest thing for me. I think my makeup is on fleek today and this is my first time ever doing 50 random facts about me so there you have it um I hope you guys got to know me a lot more I'm a pretty chill person I'm I think I'm a child at heart I love anything Disney anything musical I also love Rent the musical Legally Blonde all those things um so yeah I hope to star in a musical someday if I can get all the steps down. I can't remember dance choreography to save my life. Except for high school musical. Um, I was a cheerleader in high school and I did choir for 11 years. So that's two extra facts. <laughs> well guys, thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you love it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.